Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Word 2016 and how to use continuous section breaks in your Word documents. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a Microsoft Word document right here. Anytime that I want to make formatting changes to Microsoft Word, I'm going to go right here to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and turn on my Show Hide Paragraph Markers. So I click right there and now I see that I can see all of the paragraph beginning and endings. Now let's say that on this document here I wanted everything from right here all the way down to the second page here to be displayed in two columns. Well if I just clicked right here and went to the layout tab I could find the columns button right here. Now if I went to columns and I clicked two columns you can see it does just that. It splits everything into two columns. But what the problem is, is that as you can see, it split my entire document into two columns. That's not really what I want to do because, again, I just wanted to split that section into two columns. So instead, I'm going to do a Control Z to undo that, and it'll take me back up to where I was. Now, anytime that I want to submit a two column layout just for one specific part of my page, I'm going to have to put in what's called a continuous section break. And so that's right here in the page setup group under breaks and if you click right here you'll find right here section breaks. Section breaks deal with sections on your pages rather than the entire document itself which is which can be found right up here in page breaks. So if I knew that I wanted right here where it says this years to begin the section and right down here where it says of the essence to end the section, I'm going to need a section break at the beginning and at the end. So the first thing that I do is I click right before where I want that two column layout to be, in this case right before the T in this, and I go right up here to the page setup group, I click breaks, and I click continuous. Now you won't see anything happen on the page if you don't have your paragraph markers on, but since we've already turned ours on, we can see right here it says section break continuous. All right, So that's where our section break starts. Then I go right down here to the bottom, and let's say I want it to end right here before live in live auction. I can go right here to breaks, and I can go to continuous, and we see it now says section break right there. All right, so now our section knows where it's beginning and where it's ending. So now I can click right before the this in this year, and I can go to the page setup group, right here to columns, I click columns, and now I click two. And now take a look what happens. Right here is the beginning. We see that it's split into two columns, and we see right there is the end where it says of the essence. And nothing down here was affected. All right, so that looks good. So now let's continue to scroll down here. We see that this page that I looked at before that was on two columns did not get changed at all. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so I'm going to show you one more example right here. We're going to split this list right here into two columns. So again, I click right before the A in All Stars. I go up to the Page Setup group, click Breaks, and I click Continuous. And you'll see right there, Section Break Continuous. And then as I go down, I can click right here at the end, or this blank paragraph, either one will really work. And I go right here to breaks, and I choose continuous. We see the section break is right there. Again, the copyright 2020 is not part of this list. So then I go back up here to the beginning. I click right at the beginning. Now I can go to columns, and I can choose two. And we see right there, it splits everything into two. Copyright 2020 was not part of the split. And so that right there is how you do a continuous section break in Microsoft Word 2016. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do have a bunch of other Microsoft Word 2016 tutorials on the channel, and I'll make sure to link the playlist in this section of the video. If you have any comments, please put it in the comment section. I'll make sure to respond. Thank you for watching the video, and have a great rest of your day.